Hey everybody, so this is a video that I'm going to be doing today. It's talking about how I store my patterns and how I know what patterns that I have. I know you're wondering like, Rochelle, you have over 3K patterns and how in the world do you know what patterns you have? So I'm gonna show y'all what I do and how I keep track of all the patterns that I have. So if that's some content you would like to see, please continue to watch. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video I am going to be showing you guys how I store my patterns and how I also know what patterns I have, all right? But if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hello, ciao, guten tag, aloha, hola, konnichiwa, waguan, sambanani, salom, bonjour. If you're returning, go get you a quick snack, something to drink, come on back so we could go ahead and catch up with some tea, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this video. All right, so listen, first things first, let me tell you what I have on. <laughs> Because I know you guys always comment in the comment like, what is that top or what is that dress that you have on? This is a sew along that I did on the channel about two years ago. It's Butterick 6732. It's a full sew along. I'll go ahead and put it on the end screen, but also in the description box below if you are interested in knowing about the Empire Line top. I did this as part of the top series and I did a I think it was more of like a sew with me, but it's a full sew along, all right? So you could check that out in the description box below as well as on the end screen after this video. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about it. So listen, how I used to store my patterns, I'm gonna show you the old way and then I'm gonna show you the new way of me storing a video. So let's go ahead and talk about the old way how I used to store my pattern. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is I have two dresser drawers where I keep the current patterns in. Um, so on the inside, they are labeled. So this one over here would be new look all the way down. This is my Butterick drawers all the way down. This one over here, excuse the mess in here for a quick second because I'm still uh, organizing. And then this one straight down has uh, McCall patterns and then simplicity patterns. So I'm going to open up one of the drawers to show you like this one has like new look. These are like all the new looks from 2023. And then as I go down, it will get like, you know, to, I think this, this one is 2021, 2020, 2021 and 2022 new look patterns. And then down here would be like, yeah, uh, I want to say like 2018 to 2019, all my 2017 patterns are stashed away outside, which I'll show you that here shortly. And then these two bins are nothing but Mimi G and No Me patterns like you see right here, Mimi G, No Me patterns. I keep track by writing the year that and the season that it came out. All of these underneath here is Mimi G as well, patterns for simplicity. And then of course I keep like, this is gingham and cotton fabric. And then this one down here will be some twill and brocade fabric in that tote. Now I I'm gonna show you guys this. I know it looks like, oh, you know, it's a little dirty. It's a little, yeah. So I didn't do this. My daughter did this. She's fixing that for me. So just ignore all of that, all right? Now, in this drawer right here is like all Butterick patterns from 2022, I think. Let me pull one up. 2019 okay so this is 2019 to 2023 patterns right here like you can see um so she normally fouls all of these for me and then as one drawer as i get a lot of patterns which she has to foul ones from last week um when the butterick vogue sell or maybe a week or two weeks ago a week or two ago she has to foul those and then in this drawer right here same thing this goes all the way up to i believe 20 18 drawer um, starting at like 2015. I did this pattern before I did a red, white, and blue. I'll put it up so you can see that. That skirt was fire. Um, but this goes all the way up to like 2019. And then there's patterns that I have outside as well. That. And then over here, 
in this one I have like a lot of macaw patterns okay so all my macaw patterns right here and how I keep it is like I keep it by um higher number I guess you could put it in descending order instead of ascending so you will see at the beginning 8392 and then behind that one you will have 8389 and the reason why is because I like to keep the newer ones in the front and at the top so if I'm working on something from 2023 it's right here at the top and I don't have to go all the way down to the bottom so um, the ones at the bottom are like from previous years and as I get more of the 2023 I take these out and put them in the Tupperware outside which I will show you here shortly so this is McCall's and then this one over here is simplicity so that's what this drawer right here so i have a total of 12 i'm gonna scoop back out so you can see this on this gopro camera yeah i put some lighting in here so you can see and shout out to the bags right over here in this corner right here that is just you know some space saver bags for when i did so it's looking a little crazy and junky in here um but my daughter's fixing all of this because this is all her old stuff and this is something that she needs to hang up for me because I wore these. Oh, shout out to Stephanie for so with Stephanie because this is the EV top. And these are the pants that I'm giving to my sister because I made me another pair of those pants. So that's what that is right now. But just so you know, there's a, a 12 drawer um, dresser and then another 12 drawer dresser back there so that's how I store my patterns I do not put them in an envelope it's just regular envelope straight from Joann's and both of these drawers all right so now I'm going to take you into the older patterns what I do with that so let's go ahead and get to it all right so now I'm in my garage and I'm going to show you how I keep track of the patterns that are much older so I have these on there it, basically I just uh, typed it out in Word and kind of like used some priority tape because it's free.com um, and got the labels printed out. So in this Tupperware right here is all bags, PJs, family style patterns and aprons. And then I have McCall patterns from summer 2015 to 2018. Um, so all seasons, it's not just summer, it's basically any pattern between summer 2015 all the way to winter 2018 McCall patterns only there and then right here I have the simplicity patterns any pattern from 2010 all the way to summer 2016 and this Tupperware Vogue patterns and PDF patterns are in this Tupperware Berta patterns are in this Tupperware and then I have the McCall patterns between 2010 and spring 2015 in that one now I use this is the old way of how I used to track my pattern in a binder okay so I'm gonna take you back inside to my sewing table to show you how I used to do this so if you're looking at this really good you will see that it shows like that book has McCall's patterns in there the number that's 2476 to 6981 Butterick between 3000 and 6159 so I'm gonna show you the old way now I am still going through this and trashing them because it's a lot of paper and I stopped doing this in 2020 when I moved so I'm going to show you exactly the old way of how I used to store my patterns um, and the new way of me doing it so let's go ahead and get back to the sewing table so I can show you that now all right so we're back at my um, table and Here's the thing, I just picked up any binder, okay? So this is the old way of how I used to store my patterns to know which ones I have. So I would keep the pattern the way that they come straight out of Joann's. But instead of going to the drawer to go look and see if I have it, I used to keep a binder and tell the seasons that I have so this one is McCall's early spring 2016 to winter 2016 I stopped doing this way in 2020 when COVID came around and paper started getting expensive binders started getting expensive sheet protectors started getting expensive so I stopped doing that so it tells me early spring these are the uh, range of the patterns 7307 to 7341 
all the way down to the winter. So I know that this book goes from 7307 to 7525. So what I used to do is I used to print the front of the cover and the line art on one piece of paper. And then on the other piece, I used to print the back of the pattern envelope, okay? So I could actually have the illusion of sitting down at Joann's flipping through the pattern pages, right? Like we do when we go to Joann's. Most of us do, other just kind of like write a list and go. So I have the illusion of sitting down, flipping through the pattern pa pages just like this, like, hey, you know, I could go through my uh, patterns and see which ones I have, you know? So that's what I did until 2020. And then when 2021 turned around, you know, when 2021 came around, I was like, this process costs too much. The paper that you have to pay for, the ink to print it, the sheet protector, getting more binders. It was just way too much, so I stopped doing that. Now I'm gonna show you the new way of me doing it in 2023. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna screen share with you guys on how I keep track of my patterns in 2023. All right, so now that I showed you the old way that I stored my patterns, right? Let's go ahead and talk about how I store my pattern now in 2023. All right, guys, so we are back and I am showing you how I store my patterns now in 2023. So first of all, I have them broken down between the different brands, Berta, Butterick, um, that's a PDF, Itch to Stitch, um, Patterns, Know Me Patterns, McCall's, New Look, Patterns I Own, PDF Purchase Patterns that I uh, purchase from time to time, um, Simplicity, Vogue, just to name a few. So I'm just going to click on one of them just to kind of, you know, show, and I'll just go to McCall's Patterns. And then from there, in the McCall folder, I have from 2014 all the way to 2023 before 2013 patterns are in here just to name a few so i'm just going to click on one and i'm going to click on 2022 because i know 2023 is not done so actually i'll also click on 2021 just to kind of show this um situation but i have mccall's 2021 it goes from 8140 to 8251 and then in the early spring patterns I have 8140 to 8183 so if I'm looking for a pattern I just kind of like click on it I have the front the line art you know the back of the cover um, as well um, just to show you guys this this is just the pictures that I could see what it was on the website when that time you know when we were in 2021 and then further down, I would have the PDF um, portion of it. So I'm just going to go back just to kind of show you again. Um, and then like simplicity patterns, for instance, um, one thing that they used to do with simplicity patterns is like, I think they stopped doing this in 2020. They used to have like the teacher's gallery and worksheet. I used to save those from the website. And then, you know, just kind of like pick which ones I wanted in the teacher's pattern gallery from spring 2020. And these are like the best sellers or hot patterns that were out in 2020. So I used to save those as well. I have not seen those on the website. So just to give you a little idea into 2023, because you guys kind of probably want to see this. So I have not re uh, moved over the 2023 summer patterns yet. I will be doing that this weekend and updating this folder. But this is like spring 2023 patterns. So what you guys see in the videos when I do a release or um, purchase patterns, I basically save all. Well, I don't do it. My daughter does it. But she saved all the patterns for me, the patterns that I um, am picking up. So she will save the front, the back, and the line art. So the front, Mimi G., the back of the pattern so I could put up on the screen um, in big form for you guys to see that and then the line art so you guys are able to see the front of the cover what it looks like the line art of uh, what that looks like and then the back of the cover as well so I save it for every pattern season per year you know the year the pattern season I actually write the uh, numbers um, it's not on the 2023 yet because you know I just haven't had time to update just being 100 with you guys 
um, but I'm just going to show you from 2020 where it's updated. So you will see like the pattern season, the numbers that was, you know, available in that season, like spring 20, I'm sorry, 20, spring 2020 goes from 90, 97 to 91, 33. So if I click on that, I know that the patterns are 90 to 97. And I could just basically look here to see how much fabric I need. Instead of going to the, you know, pattern and pulling a pattern, got to look at the back or whatever. So I feel like this is the easy way, easier way of doing that instead of going all the way to the pattern drawer to, you know, basically pull it out and everything. So that's how. I do it in 2023 all right so there you have it that's exactly how I store my patterns here in 2023 yes I have over 3,000 patterns but I have kept the patterns that I want in my stash sometimes from time to time I do these like live pattern sales or whatever I have not decided to do one um this year yet because I have a lot of costume patterns so plug right here if you are into like costume patterns and stuff like that let me know I will give them away for free but you have to pay the shipping all right so I, I could put like a quick video or a post together so you can see which ones I have and if you're interested like I said it'll be free but you have to pay the shipping for those patterns all right well that's it for this video and since you made it this far do not forget to hit that like button subscribe button and also turn on that notification bell so you are notified every time your girl uploads a new video so I'll catch you in the next video and as always keep sewing They're picking sides, they're crossing the line.